there is a scientific term that is serial homology. Let me introduce about this term. What does this serial homology mean? Homologous organs which are arranged serially in the same organism show serial homology. It means in a single organism, if certain structures are arranged serially, they perform different functions, but their origin pattern, their embryonic origin pattern is same, then such structures are serially homologous organs. Examples can be appendages in arthropods, limbs in tetrapods, and serially arranged vertebrae in vertebrates. So I'm going to take up these examples one by one to have clear view or clear uh, concept of this serial homology. See in this figure, you can see the appendages of Palimon. Palimon that is pran that possesses 19 pairs of appendages. These appendages are arranged serially from anterior to posterior end and they could be differentiated as cephalic, thoracic and abdominal appendices. There are five uh, pairs of cephalic appendages, then eight pairs of thoracic appendages and uh, six pairs of abdominal appendices. When we observe the developmental pattern of these appendages during the embryonic life of this organism, we find that the proteins appearing to such parts which actually help the differentiation or uh, origin of such structures are almost same. The embryonic tissue which give rise to such appendages, they are very much similar to each other. But in later stage of the development of the animal, these appendices, when they are grown to enough size, they gain variation in their morphology. And then they are used to perform different functions. So they are called homologous because uh, they are uh, similar in their origin pattern. But they perform different functions. See, antinule and antinine, the anterior most structures are sensory structures. They are used to detect the presence of uh, different objects, even food uh, in the surrounding. Then there is uh, mandible, the third pair of appendages. It is used to masticate the food. Then maxillula and uh, maxilla are there. Such structures are used to um, make, uh, you know, grip to the food and uh, bring it close to the mandible. Then there are uh, maxillipedes. They are also used to uh, manipulate the food in certain manner. Then walking legs are there. The nonchalate and chillate legs are there. Uh, these are five pairs in number. And then uh, there are uh, uh, pleopards which help in swimming process. And a female may use such structures to hold uh, her eggs during breeding time. So uh, these structures are used for various functions, but their origin pattern is uh, same. So such structures are serially arranged homologous organs. Exactly the same way we can talk about the uh, legs in an insect. If you observe the insect's leg, they are arranged in thoracic region uh, in the prothorax mesothorax and uh, metathoracic uh, segment of the uh, thorax and a single you know leg will have uh, coxa or femur uh, trochanter tibia tarsus these are the different segments present in the leg and uh, you will find that uh, these legs may be used to perform different functions like in honeybees the three pairs of legs uh, they are uh, functionally you know different uh, to each other means one can be used to collect pollen grains other can uh, have a you know a structure which actually uh, collects the pollen grain from the 
plants flowers so they are arranged serially they have similar origin pattern but functionally uh, they are different so that could be another example uh, in our own case that is uh, in tetrapods as i said that uh, appendages or limbs are the example of serial homology see in our case we have four limb and hind limb in four limb we have uh, uh, bones like humerus followed by uh, radius ulna then there are carpals metacarpals and phalanges here in hind limb also exactly in the same way you can see uh, femur is there then it is tibia fibula again here two bones you can see like radius ulna and then at the place of carpals and metacarpals there are tarsals metatarsals and phalanges so basic arrangement of bones are same not only this if you see the head portion of this humerus that fits in the uh, glenoid cavity of the pectoral girdle likewise the head portion of this femur fits in the acetabulum of uh, pelvic girdle so this way much similarity occur between the two but these two limbs are used to perform different functions so their origin pattern is same but uh, uh, function wise and structure wise these two structures vary so they are also the examples of this serial homology then in our own case we can consider vertebrae as uh, the example of serial homology uh, our vertebrae which are uh, starting from the anterior portion up to the end could be differentiated as uh, cervical thoracic lumbar sacral and then caudal vertebrae see structurally these vertebrae are different and uh, uh, but their origin pattern when they start developing in the embryonic life they start developing in the same manner the uh, way the you know uh, bony tissues or bony cells start accumulating and giving rise to this uh, this structure this supporting structure that will be very similar but later they gain a variation in their morphology and help uh, in uh, you know performing different functions so these are uh, the three examples you can cite for serial homology and serial homology means once again i would like to say that those structures which are arranged serially they are uh, homologous structures they may be looking different in their morphology but they have uh, and since they look different in their morphology they would be used for performing different functions but their origin pattern will always be same